Audio Jungle. Retirement matches are few and far between in the WWE, and it's for good reason. The stakes between the wrestlers are stupidly high, where a loser has to stop performing for their company. And in memory of the great Dolph Ziggler who puts his career on the line at no mercy, I'm D Wicket from Watch WWE, and these are the five most memorable retirement matches in WWE. Number five, Randy Savage versus Ultimate Warrior. You know it's going to be a solid list when those two names only grab the number five spot. WrestleMania 7 was an interesting show, to say the least. It was the last Mania to follow the 14-match, 4-hour pattern. Thank God, because 6 hours this year was so much better. It gave us the first match in The Undertaker's legendary streak, where he took 4 minutes and 20 seconds WF career of Randy Savage, who would be put in the commentary position. The match was good and ended a legendary race. Elizabeth came out to show support to her fallen former lover, and the match made in heaven reunited to much fan affair. Number of televised WWE match Edge ever gave to us was a successful world title defense at Mania. The worst Mania in the last decade! Two joyous occasion. Number three, Cactus Jack versus Triple H. What a fantastic feud this was. And while it's the Royal Rumble match everyone talks about, the match that took place at No Way Out 2000 between these two bitter rivals was long awaited and very enjoyable. However, the stipulation for this classic Hell in a Cell bout was if Cactus lost, Cactus left, which actually happened, and Mick Foley was forced to retire from in ring competition. It was an emotional moment that plenty of fans got invested in, and then six weeks later, he was in the main event of WrestleMania. Number two, Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker. Their original WrestleMania encounter is debatably a better worked match, and most say it's one of the best matches of all time. And as the old saying goes, the sequel never lives up to the hype. Boy did they try with this one, making it streak versus career. WWE worked a fantastic storyline where, where in 2010, all Shawn Michaels wanted to do was get a rematch to take on the streak, almost going the distance in the Royal Rumble to be able to face him as he was the World Heavyweight Champion at the time and then interfering in the Elimination Chamber match that year, costing him the belt, pissing Taker off just enough to accept his challenge. The retirement stipulation added a sense of urgency to the match and helped legitimize it even more in its main event spot, as if Undertaker vs Shawn Michaels needed to be legitimized. Fun fact, Shawn Michaels is the only person on this list barring any injuries to have remained retired. And number one, Ric Flair vs Shawn Michaels, tied with the actual retirement of Flair. Oh, and then he went to wrestle in TNA, dicking it all up. But hey, we're called Watch WWE for a reason. Fuck TNA. And those are the five most memorable retirement matches in WWE. What are your thoughts? Tell us in the comments below. And if you like what you saw, check out our other work over at Spacebound Watch Sports and my channel, D Wicket. Keep yourself updated by following us on Twitter at YTWatchWWE. And of course, if you would have stayed retired, like the video. And subscribe for more of the most memorable and retired wrestling content of all the times. Thank you all for watching.